Okay, so one of the next things that I decided to do was the other half of the heart I was going to cover in sunflowers, and I've just noticed now on the camera I have a little bit of water there. Um, so I covered it in stone art on both sides, as I did with the red one. Um, but this one, the sunflower moulds that we had, um, that came as part of the box, this one. So I made some stone art sunflowers and making the clay with equal parts liquid um, fabric hardener to um, stone art powder um, and then pushing them into the moulds once it's in a clay format um, so I then the, the paper that you saw that came in the box again not really my thing but um, you know I'm going with it making a nice bright spring canvas and I went with a hexagon canvas because I don't know why but it reminded me of bees when I saw this heart shaped sunflower um, that I'd made and I was like what can I incorporate it with and this was what I came up with so what I've actually done here is and I don't know if you can see some of the cracks that I have if I just move it around possibly not um, I actually mixed some some 3d flex with some of the yellow power text and made it into a spreadable consistency so rather than making it a little bit thicker like you would to get really deep cracks i just did it a nice thin spreadable layers and run it over a stencil um, and it's a nice honeycomb stencil so what i now plan to do is a deer this and some embellishments um, onto this canvas using ivory and then I'm going to use um, this is actually yellow um, it's egg yolk ink so it's a, it's an orangey yellow colour um, and it's the translucent secret art loft inks that I've put into a spray bottle so I'm going to use the ivory power text I dare all these on I've got some wooden pieces I've got lots of different Powertex flowers that I'm going to add um, and I'm just going to create this effect and then spray with the, the ink like I said and then I will turn back on and see where we're at and decide where we go from there so I'm going to pause now while I quickly go on and do that so the video is not too long for you guys I did forget to say um, I think that the um, the paper the mulberry paper here um, with the flowers was um, I did using Easy Coat Matte. Um, you paint the canvas or the base that you're working on. You then paint the back of the paper, um, put it in the place you want it, and then paint over the top to seal it. And that will make so this is actually waterproof. So even if I get Ivory Powertex over some of the image, I can actually wipe it away to see some of the flowers or the butterflies or whatever I like. Um, now it didn't quite fit over the canvas, it did up to about here, so a lot of this under here is patchwork, but that's fine because I'm sure you're used to using, some people will be used to using decoupage paper and you can patch up quite easily um, with that. So I'm going to go and sort out this canvas and get it ready for the next stage. Okay, so um, I've covered all of the MDF and the flowers in the ivory power text. So now I'm going to spray on some different colours. Um, so this is, as I've said before, the Raspberry Secret Art Loft acrylic ink. I have palm leaf that I've slightly watered down and then I have yellow egg yolk. And I'm going to spray some of these and possibly some vistas I'll decide and then I'm going to paint on as well some colours so this just makes it quite subtle and I'm doing this around the edge where maybe the beehive is where the honey is I'm going to round where some of the leaves are Trying to blend in squirts of green. And 
and then some of the raspberry. And again, I'm going to go over with the colours a little bit more. Now what I'm going to do is, and you can use a little um, dropper for this, or you can go straight in and paint. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to dry the hairdryer. So I'm going to dry this off and then I'm going to start painting in. So this is really pastel and subtle, um, but I don't want to start dipping into the ink like I was doing before to start to um, end up with little bits of the ivory protex in your ink and then it just dirties your ink so I'll just dry this off and get back okay so um, it ended up being a little bit more pink than I'd intended as you can see um, I kept spraying on some more pink over here um, I did actually end up um, cheating before coming on camera and just adding a little bit of the raspberry ink um, just painting it direct, mixing it with a little bit of yellow oak to give it an orange fade in here. Not that you can see that very much here. Um, I'm just going to blend the two a bit more now. I have myself an orange. I'm going to mix in a little bit of yellow. I just want to kind of do a bit of a colour fade. A bit more than what's there maybe color up some of the sunflowers a little bit so this one is just yellow power color mixed with orange power color so these two and i'll just lighten them up together without using any um white and I'm just going to bring that in a little bit now these are a little bit translucent see these are still a little bit wobbly some of these so just work it in there just so that it does blend a little bit more not demonstrating dry brushing very well at this point in time so I'm being super quick but when I get back to you've all, you all have seen, you can see the fade a little bit better now so I decided and you can tell that I've been unwell because I'm adding more pink Anyone that knows me knows I'm a not very pink person. Purple, but not pink. Now uh, this is pink flamingo. So it is a fuchsia pink, very, very bright pink. And it's a pearl pigment. So I'm just going to work some of this over flowers because I always start dark and lighten up um, so I will actually be going back over with a white as we did with the journal or as I did with the journal So I've worked that in now, just going to rinse my brush, now it's time for the white, we can always go over if you want this to be pearlized, you can always go over this with, have I got it here, it is a perfect, it's not perfect pearls, basically just Colortrix pearl and it makes any colour pearlized. So, I'm just going to move my water pot and get another paintbrush out. So, I'm going in with the white now. I 
don't want to cover the whole of the flower, we just want the raised little bits of the flowers. Probably need to just wipe my brush off because some of the pigments are still a little bit wet. It can stain the white really, really easily. So I'm just going to make up some more white. Now, what I tend to do with things as well is the light usually is brighter at the top. So I'm going to make this fade down. As I'm going down, it's picking up some of the other pigment and already making it lighter. Lighter, tainted. So, hopefully you can see. I still have my iridescent sheen to it. So I'm probably going to go in with um, the pearl to finish it off but I just want to lighten some of these up so now I'm going to blend the white into the yellow I need some over the sunflowers to highlight the sunflowers going to make the last little bit of white up without pulling everything off everything off is still slightly wet so I think that might be my canvas finished it's not how I imagined it. If I wanted here to pull back some of the pattern that was underneath, I could very well do that um, with a wet cloth still. Um, but I think otherwise that is nearly finished. What I might actually do is just bring in maybe some metallic green onto the leaves, but a, you know, um, like an interference one. We've got this um, terra green, it's kind of a goldy, greeny colour, which will work with the yellows and the pinks, I think. So I'm just going to swap a brush and then I'll be back with the finished piece. Okay, so here is the finished canvas. As I said, I added some Colortrix terra green here, although it looks more gold than green, although you can see hues of green in certain lights. I did a little bit of bronze gold in the centre of the sunflowers. I did a little bit of rich gold on the bee and I think we're done. It's really not what I would usually do. It's out of my comfort zone with the colours but it um, doesn't hurt to try. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my makes. Um, there will be a photograph at the end of the blog with everything that's completed and photographed. Um, thank you for watching.